We all know that it, things are usually normal without mm, mm, <laughs> aliens, and there are no such thing as aliens. But it's usually a myth that if they come um, from a planet that's now the dwarf planet into in another planet that can go into another planet's orbit. Okay. Which planet is that? This is Pluto. It also has another a dwarf planet in its orbit, and and we don't know a name. So oh. let's take a show on. I am a ball from the planet Pluto, and that you better stay away from me, or I will come and get you. <gasps> oh no! And, and keep you with me in my UFO forever. <laughs> was weird, right? We all know aliens don't exist. But Do we know that? Do we know for sure? Mm-hmm. I don't know if we know for sure. <laughs> but it, we you know that it's a planet, it's an orbit. It's around on the area. Take this, for example, well, as the sun and this as Mercury. Okay. So Mercury goes fast around the sun. Okay. And the sun just uh, swirls around. Okay. And it has sunspots. And then with Venus, it's farther and goes slower. And it's about the same size as Earth. Okay. Earth that is the only place for life. And it uh, is a little tilted. Okay. And then... And it goes kind of slowly, and it sometimes it gently turns around to show the moon and the sun in the same place at different times. Mars, the red planet, and into which it is really, really cool. This as Mars, it will go like this, and then. And the, let me just put the pet. <laughs> then we get Jupiter, the biggest of all the planets. That's after the meteor belt. That it it, it will turn around sometime, and and sometime in um meteors go out and and they miss the Earth, which creates the meteor shower. Is that what these ones are here? Uh huh. That's the belt. And. I'll give you an example, okay? Okay. So take this as Earth. Yeah. When they zip past, like this, then yeah. it, it creates a, something called the meteor shower. Mm. Okay. It's very beautiful and bright. That's cool. Which is really awesome because is it, it, it they look just like little lights. Wow. And then when we go past Jupiter, we go to Saturn, the ringed planet. Is there anything that we need to know about Jupiter? Jupiter has the big red spot. And what's the spot? It's a big storm <gasps> hurricane that's been there forever oh my gosh in ice age collision course we saw that scrap that had <laughs> it, it, it accidentally it, it brought almost it got into a, a electrical uh, the electrical hurricane oh no and he actually <laughs> threw it towards the earth <laughs> which was actually kind of funny and uh, the air felt very electrocuted <laughs> okay let's get back to real let's stuff. yeah to the real stuff and saturn it kind of turns around but you can go ring surfing there really yeah that'd Sounds be like fun. fun right it does sound like fun and then 
and coming up next, Uranus. Okay. Which it has two rings at the top. Okay. That it's a really cool, and it swirls around, and it, and they and it kind of spins. It spins so is that is that what this one is here? Yeah. And then Neptune. Neptune can go into Pluto's orbit. It's temporarily. Okay. And it also swirls around. So here's the little Pluto. Okay. So let's take this look. Ready? Mm hmm. Wow. Like that. That's cool. And then when they get close, then and they and go back around like that. Okay. Do you think Pluto should still be called a planet? Yeah. Uh, even though it can't, it, it's a, not, it, it's a, such a good magnet because it won't suck in, in the big meteors. Oh, uh, okay. Take this as Pluto and this as is a bigger planet like okay. Saturn or okay. Uranus. Yeah. Maybe even Jupiter. And uh, let's uh, show what happens. So okay. any meteor is close by. Look, the meteor is close by. Mhm. Mm so it attracts them. And then this one. And then this meteor just floats away. See, mm. it's not going towards Pluto at all. Okay. Because Pluto is too small. Hmm. Okay. To be able to be a big magnet. So now, tell me, what did you think about these, about this really cool set, this Play-Doh set that you got from Party Play-Doh? It's really cool. And also, oh, there's a, <laughs> another planet. Oh, sorry, you weren't finished. Okay. So... In, that's in, in Pluto's orbit. Oh, tell me. We don't in, t know the name because it's not on in the sign. Okay. In this map I put shows uh, all the planets and it also includes Pluto. See, okay. This line is Pluto's orbit. There's nice. another one in Pluto's orbit. Nice. So what do you think that other planet should be called? You know, oh, I actually did kind of think up a name in Hannah Zood. I love it. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, I did, I did practice something on Nikita. It was so funny. Yeah. It was like this. <laughs> Him, the sun is in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's so silly. And so, what do you think? Should people be buying these to play with as well? Yeah. Such Even a cool. The space maps. It's so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It even comes with the sign. And I'm not really using them right now because no, that's okay. Um, and the stars. Oh, and you didn't even well, use these ones this time. Hey, these are like really cool stamps too. We had fun with those earlier. Hey. Mhm. Mm yeah. And, uh, I can show you an extra chance that we can do with these. Uh, I'll take out some Play-Doh and show. But first, I will pack away my Urple. Okay, so then I'll start a new video for that. The planet Purple. <laughs> and Pluto. Awesome.